Hey y'all and welcome to this episode. So I know I keep talking about Jane Eyre and but I had this weird idea the other day to just try and see if I could do some kind of makeup tutorial making as many literary references as possible for each for a specific book and since Jane Eyre is the one that I am most familiar with I decided to start with that one so if you like this idea and you want to see more leave a like and a comment down below and uh suggest other books that I should do this for next I hope this idea works out and I hope it becomes clearer as it goes on but yeah let's get started so uh, I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. I chose e.l.f. because that's often what Rochester calls Jane and uh, like he calls her an elf or a fairy or something like that. And I chose Illuminating because interesting thing, things come to light. Yeah, so that's that. And that goes all over the face. Usually it's just one pump but I'm gonna go for two. So then uh, this one isn't the reference, this is just foundation. Next I'm gonna do some eye stuff. So um, I've heard that in the makeup world you're supposed to use contrast colors like the opposite color to what your eye color is um, in order to sort of make your eyes look better or the, have the color bring out more. So my eyes are blue so we're going to use orange shadows um, because if my eyes are Jane then my eyeshadow is Bertha because they are apparently supposed to be opposites. The Too Faced Shadow Insurance to start out with that and that's gonna be Rochester because he keeps lying about look like, what his romantic situation is and also because he's like the main sticking point between Bertha and Jane. So next is eyeshadow and I'm going to first off look at how pretty all of this is. Ah, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Ah. Anyway um, so I'm gonna go with this super light one. So this is Rebirth by NYX. It's one of their hot singles. <laughs> hot singles eyeshadow um, because as soon as Rochester and Bertha get back to England, both of them seem to change a lot. So that's just gonna set the primer and go all over the lid. In honor of all the mysterious laughing that goes on in the attic, we're going to go with LOL by NYX. It's kind of a bright orange, kind of a fiery orange you might even say. Yeah, so that's gonna go all over the lid. I don't know if you're necessarily supposed to wear such bright colors on a day-to-day -day basis but this is Bertha we're talking about here and I'm like 98% sure Bertha wouldn't care. And continuing in that Bertha theme is one of the NYX prismatic shadows and really pretty red orange shimmer thing and this is also by NYX and yes it is named after the Greek goddess of night if you, in case you're wondering um, but this is in Fireball. So that is just gonna be in the outer V and the crease area because just like Bertha she's just kind of outside of everything. No one really pays attention to her which is actually really disappointing. I also feel like generally you're not supposed to put shimmers in the crease or the outside but again this is Bertha and Bertha's I don't get a bit of rebirth again that one and just put it up in the brow bone area and just blend everything together with rebirth because apparently everyone is changing over the course of this novel especially Rochester at the end after the whole fireball situation so for a little bit of extra dimension we're um, gonna go back to Rochester for a second and so this <laughs> I keep using NYX stuff I swear I don't only use NYX um, but this is the NYX Love in Paris palette in Merci Beaucoup. I don't know. I didn't take French. I took Greek. So this one, this is what it looks like. And so because Rochester sort of seeks love in Paris, goes and has a child, there's no shade names in here. We're just gonna use this, uh shimmery brown one here in the middle 
just take that a little bit to the outside because you know now Rochester is all on the outside and again not paying attention to Bertha at all which is really rude of him yeah so then yeah so he has a child and sort of at being a having a child out of wedlock is sort of a taboo sort of thing so that's why we're deepening up the crease with that and then just blending it all together again so gonna take this one uh this is from an etsy brand called purties for your face it's called sweetie pie and sweetie pie is just going in the inner corner because in his innermost thoughts he still wants someone that isn't bertha but then he can't have her so just taking fireball and going into the crease a little bit more and then packing on lol and then lol is also just gonna uh, smoke down under the lash line as well because everywhere in this novel once you read it you realize that Martha is everywhere uh, that's all of the eyeshadow done next is eyeliner so this is the Ico liquid liner in skinny black skinny liquid eyeliner in pitch black or in black or pitch black like Rochester's soul like his eyesight like his dog oh man I don't have one called pilot man Anyway, so yeah, so that's just going to be on the top here. Did mascara as well, so now it is time for highlighter. Highlighter, because uh, things come to light. And so we're going to be using this Luna by Luna highlighter. It's this really pretty kind of iridescent shade. And it's in, oh wow. Yeah, my hand looks gold because of that primer. Anyway, um, and so it's in the shade Calypso um, because she was kind of in exile and Rochester probably feels like that too. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, so that's just gonna be on the top of the cheekbones. It's very, very subtle. I don't need a lot of concealer, but I do have some stuff down here that I wanna use. And so this is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. And it's not quite a shade match for me but it sort of blends in during the day it kind of oxidizes into something that works like jane and rochester's relationship it's also pretty good about hiding deep set things like cystic acne and rochester's terrible relationship skills so there's that and then finally um is the tart lip surgeons uh, this is a sample size from Ipsy, and this is in the shade called Wonder, because Jane is wondering about a lot of things during her stay at um, Thorfield. Yeah, it's a really pretty shade too. Alright, so there we go. I hope you liked it. Uh, again, leave a comment down below if uh, you liked this, and if you want to see something else in this similar vein, and if you do, please suggest the next book. So, uh, thanks for watching, like, if you liked it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!